Good afternoon, as in note, Iti Ren Ishakandugu Kemet. We're going to deal with the maxims of Pata Hotel. This wisdom is 4,000 years old. Maxim number seven on table manners. If you are among the guests at the table of a superior, accept what your host gives you and the way the food is presented. Look at what is before you, but don't stare at your host too insistently, for the car, his vital energy, hates being pestered. Before I continue, there is the Bible, book of Proverbs, chapter 23, that says, When you sit to dine with a ruler, note well what is before you, and put a knife to your throat. If you are given to gluttony, do not crave his delicacies, for that food is deceptive. That's for the record. Of course, I'm not claiming that it is a direct plagiarism. I'm not claiming necessarily plagiarism, but there is indeed an obvious similarity, don't you think? Whether you think so or not, feel free to let me know in the comment now. Let's me, let me continue with the maxim number seven of the Wisdom of Pata Hotel. Don't speak to your host until invited to do so, since you will not know what he is feeling. Respond when he addresses you and try to make your conversation attractive to him. Laugh when he laughs. He will be glad and approve your behavior though you still will not know his innermost thoughts. As for the great one seated behind the offering table covered with breads, let his behavior accord with the dictates of his car, his creative, his creative inert energy. Thus he will give those he favors. Night brings good counsel. The creative power of car opens its arms, its arms and the great man bestows gifts on him who has achieved merit, and the bread is eaten in accordance with the will of God. Ignorant is he who does not count his blessings. There's two, three things actually that I want to touch on. Now the last sentence, ignorant is he who does not count his blessings. There is uh, that song, By the rapper Nas and Bob Marley's son, Bob Marley's son, Junior Gong, they made an album called Distant Relatives, if I'm not mistaken. And there was one song called Count Your Blessings. I mean, that album is very nice, a very nice vibe. If you haven't heard it, some good vibration. Now, two other things. We have the mention of the great one seated behind the offering table covered with breads. We see that very often on artifacts. We have the main individual of the stella, and usually he is depicted larger than the other people. And we usually have this table with this. Uh, it doesn't, it might feel strange to us when we are told that this is bread, but it has a shape like some sort of, uh, well, going up, like some pose, or I don't know what word I could use. And I have this habit of counting them because some people who celebrate the Jewish holiday Kwanzaa or plagiarism of the Jewish holiday Hanukkah called Kwanzaa, and they have tried in the past to make us think that those were candles. And that's the reason why I took the habit of counting them to show that we don't have seven. And there's only one instance where I actually counted seven on an artifact from the Louvre Museum. Besides that, there's usually either more or less or less than seven. So this is a table with the bread because the bread can be depicted with an oval shape at the top and flat at the bottom this is the loaf of bread, God in a reference, um, 
God in the sign reference X1. Okay. Now on my website, you have a full hieroglyphic sign list. Well, full, let's say complete. And uh, you can just have a look at the different glyphs. You see, you can type in a f r o s t y l y dot com slash gardener g a r d i n e r. The last thing I want to address, but the cone of the, the we also have a cone of brand of, of bread as well. Um, now I forgot the um, the gardener sign list reference, but you have the arm. Reference D36, if I'm not mistaken, and usually we have the cone of bread inside of the palm or on top of the palm. And years ago, maybe around 2011, some joker <laughs> claimed that that glyph actually means uh, Allah. Now, that video is called Allah is not in Nubia Temple of Ptah. So, that glyph means to give. It, it's not the name of a deity at all. Now, the last thing is, night brings good counsel. I don't know if this is used often in the English-speaking world, but in the French world, uh, there is this uh, saying that's, uh, that goes, la nuit porte conseil. And it is quite a famous quote or saying so when I read the French version of this book that is laying around here and I read that this saying was there from 2000 BC I was quite surprised but that's the way it was translated other people might translate it otherwise so stay safe stay healthy and if I'm allowed to by the nature I will definitely have a back at you hotel